It's Rob Hefner for Talk of the Town here in the town of Pine Top Lakeside. This is the third segment from the Lions Foundation speaks out about the land use map. It's their opinion and their position. Make sure you check out the other two episodes, uh, but this will finalize their statements regarding the land use map. That's what I'm thinking. I'd love to see rather than urban planning, I'd like to see a beautiful, quiet community that still has the amenities um, and the trees and the rim trail. Um, and you, you get a different feel when you come through Sholo and as you come up into Lakeside where you have the lakes and you have the forest, you will still have that feel. I'd love to maintain that. That's important to me. In that goal, everything you've been doing, uh, as far as like when you when you tried for the, when you did the zoning change and you asked for the zoning change, mm-hmm. um, that was part of that plan. Um, you're you're in line with what uh, Brett Code has done whenever he asked for the conditional use permit for the uh, the ranch design. Well, not only what he's doing for his guest ranch concept, but the way it was zoned, the Camp Tadia was not could not main, be maintained within the, the former zoning, you know, right. think about it. Yeah. It, 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 it didn't. So under the new zoning, which was approved, the camp can exist until the future is figured out. The, the guest concept, which works great down in Tucson, where you have people that come up from, you know, hotter, uh, warmer areas into the mountains and um, they can have a guest experience. They can enjoy it for all four seasons and the, the trees are, are maintained as well as the, the Indian nations do because they are really good at keeping their forests maintained and thinned and safe from fires and disasters. So, um, yeah, that's all very important. So, um, and, and, and that will maintain and, and keep the value of the property as well. Awesome. So you two gentlemen, if you could make a statement to the people who are in opposition of some of the change and might be fearful of some of the things uh, because they, they don't understand it completely or don't know exactly what's in your head and, uh, and or maybe don't trust that, what would you say to them? Wow. Um, all I can say is I was born in Tucson and I grew up near Phoenix and I've watched Phoenix grow and I've watched Tucson grow. And I've seen people stand in the way of progress and try to force uh, change from not happening. And uh, you, you, you need to have a plan and, and you need to have a concept and a target. And so you have to plan for the growth that's coming to the area and you have to do the right thing right now. And the Pine Top has got a land use plan. And I would say that the Lions Foundation is in full support of the land use classification that is up right now. And uh, the people that stand in the way of that, um, they need to get on board the train with us together uh, with all the people of the community, the majority of the people, and find the best use of, of this land that we can all be proud of. There is a way everybody can win. This is not a zero-sum game. That's my response. Okay. And, and Paul, if you would give us what you would say to them, please. I would say that change is going to come. It's already come because it's now part of the town and it wasn't. So now that you have change, the best thing you can do is to take a look and plan in advance as to how you'd like to see the change improve your town and become better. And as Sandy said, don't change the image of your town. Don't change it from being a gorgeous mountain community, but just how is it going to be better down the road? And it's not going to stay exactly the way it is right now. It won't. It's going to change. So now you get a chance to plan the change rather than just putting your putting an anchor down and saying, I don't want to do anything. We want to keep it exactly the way it is right now. That is not that's not going to happen because they've already been changed. It's already privately held. So get involved and try to come up with the best plan that you can for the acreage and let it develop. And I think what Brett Code is trying to do as far as a guest ranch and things like this, I think is part of that change. It's not dramatic. It's not making it high rise. It's just making it better as it goes along. Things evolve and that's evolution controlled. So that's my answer. Thank you. And so what you're looking at from what I see and tell me if I'm wrong here is you're coming down 260 out of Sholo and Sholo isn't really like 
I, you know, not to pick on Sholo, but they don't embrace the, the, the forest as much. They've got beautiful parks. They got some beautiful recreational things, but coming into Pine Top, you would literally come in right where the sign is, the welcome sign. And there would be a community that embraces the forest versus, um, all 200 one acre lots of homes. I mean, it's, it's zoned to be 200 acres or 200 homes with one acre lots is the way that it's currently zoned. Um, and you're saying a zoning that would allow uh, like a dude ranch or a, a ranch, a guest ranch and, and more camping and, and par- possibly an RV kind of area. That is what you envision and would like to embrace the forest. And the reason that I would like to do it is because if you did create 200 one acre lots, then they're now owned privately by an individual and they would decide whether trees stay or go. Obviously, you'd be removing a significant portion of the trees just for the improvements on each and every lot, including driveways and garages and everything else. And it would not be controlled at all by anybody other than the homeowner, because he now owns an acre lot. He wants to put a house on it and the town could control the size of the house and stuff like this, but they don't control exactly where trees are or how they're trimmed or anything else. And you lose the feel of the forest. A dude ranch has, by definition, wanting to keep the forest. People come up there because there's a forest. They don't come up there because it has big box stores and things like this. They come up for the ambiance of the forest. And so this is a way that we can preserve the ambiance that's there and still allow it to grow into the next century. Thank you. Um, any any final statements before we go? Well, um, I want to thank you for the opportunity to share our vision Um Paul and I have been involved with the land exchange. As he said, he was there at the beginning. I joined shortly after. We've invested uh, over 20 years of our life, and um, we've made tremendous partnerships with the community of Pine Top and with with folks that uh, have the same feelings we do. Um, And we want we we want to do the right thing. It was a major project, uh, and. I, I appreciate the opportunity to share with the folks in the community and those that have invested, um, whether it's you know, only in the summer or year round, uh, that they want things uh, to still be beautiful. And, and, and yet, uh, as the people move in, it, that it's going to be a beautiful jewel that it is now and maintain that it is possible. Thank you for the opportunity to share our vision with you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So, thank you very much. Um, and I just want to say to both of you, thank you very much for keeping the area uh, the way that uh, you wanted to, because it could have gone to somebody in a land exchange and turned right into development that wasn't anything anybody wanted. Uh, you've kept the rim trail through your um, mutual arrangement with uh, Brett, the Coat family, and uh, you've kept the uh, Camp Grace, you've kept Camp Tadier. And you've kept it green and healthy. So thank you for that. And I, uh, hopefully you get to do your full vision into the future. Uh, remind everybody that uh, this is part of the referendum series. So there'll be a bunch of other episodes that you can take a listen to. My name is Rob Hefner for the town of Pine Top Lakeside. Make sure you check out any of the information. If you have any questions, drop us a line or even just stop on in. Stop on in.